Hello movie lovers, Bob for Bob's movie review here and today I'm bringing you my Blu-ray and DVD collection update for April of 2020. I hope you guys do enjoy the video. So I'll go over first anything that was sent to me for review and then my purchases. This month probably is by far the least in a very long time um, between, you know, not a lot of review stuff getting sent out, not a lot of stuff I was interested in buying. And um, I try to take like a lot of the extra money I had over the month and put it towards bills. And uh, I also doing some home improvements and stuff. So I didn't, I didn't really focus a lot on buying movies this month. And to be honest, guys, I am feeling a little burnt out. I've been working super hard for like over a year now, and it just feels like, uh, you know, it's, it's the movies never end. And uh, I mean, I'm not trying to complain by any means, but I never thought I'd just get to the point where I, I just felt like I couldn't get through everything. And, and I've definitely felt like that um, for a while now. And I, I've been doing my best, but uh, it just, it does get a little stressful. So I, I've been trying to not work a, quite so hard, just kind of take a little break. Maybe you guys haven't noticed, maybe you have noticed. I just haven't been trying to post quite so many videos or put so much stuff on the website. Uh, it's just all real time intensive. So um, let's get into it though, guys. There, there's a couple, uh, I think, good things that I did pick up. So uh, first up, Paramount Pictures sent over Like a Boss. And I did post an unboxing of this one. You guys can just search for Like a Boss on my channel. And this one had uh, Tiffany Haddish and um, who was the other one? Rose Barn and Selma Hayek. And basically Rose Barn and uh, Tiffany Haddish had created this makeup company and Selma Hayek's trying to buy them out. And it's a comedy, you know, with a, with a very tried and true formula. Uh, she pits the two friends against each other and they hate each other and then they realize that they love each other, you know. <laughs> it's a pretty uh, used formula for movies. Uh, I liked it though. It was fun. It wasn't great, but I definitely liked it. Definitely worth checking out. Uh, next up, Paramount sent over Looking for Alaska on DVD. Now this is a kind of like a, what would you call this? Like a mini series or whatever. It's only, uh, I believe it's only going to be just the one season and it's like seven or eight, I think eight episodes. And I did post an unboxing of this. If you want to check that out, just search for Looking for Alaska on my channel. Now it's about these kids who are in this really strange situation. And I just, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I found the whole thing very perplexing what exactly what was going on. But they go to this school in the woods, but it's not a summer school and it's not a summer camp and it's co-ed and they live there. And so it's like a boarding school in the woods that's co-ed with very little adult supervision. And of course, uh, the kids get into all these hijinks. And uh, towards the end, there's like this tragedy that happens. And uh, it's kind of like a mystery. I love this, guys. It was so good. It, like all these kids, well, they're probably adults, but all the, all the people who played these kids, um, they did really good. Like it was so well acted. The story was so great. Um, Definitely check this thing out if you guys haven't already. It is also available on Hulu. Next up, Paramount Pictures sent over Ride Like a Girl. And this one was about this family in Australia. And they're all really into horses and they raise horses or train horses or whatever. And like almost all the kids become jockeys. And for some reason, just the one girl, uh, she seemed to kind of have a little bit of trouble, but then she becomes um, a famous jockey and uh, she has some tragic events happen in her life. This one is based on a true story and I did really enjoy this one, guys. Check this one out. Uh, it was a very good drama. Next up, Paramount sent over the rhythm section. Now this one was about Blake Lively's character. Um, her parents had died in a plane crash and this journalist comes to her and says, you know, it wasn't an accident. It was a terrorist attack, but the government knows who did it, but they're not trying to catch him. And uh, he's still out there and he could be, he could kill more people. And so she kind of decides to join him to track this guy down. She decides she's going to kill him, but then she can't go through with it. And then before you know it, she's kind of like an undercover spy trying to track down all these people who are involved with the bombing of this plane. 
And I don't know. I just, I thought this movie was super average, guys. I didn't really get into the story. It, it, to me, like in the beginning when she was kind of really down and um, she was like a prostitute and all this stuff, like I thought she acted really well, but um, you know, I just, <laughs> I thought this movie was average. Last thing Paramount sent over was The Night Clerk. And this one has Ty Sheridan as a um, man who works at a, uh, hotel and he has autism and he he's like set up all these cameras inside um one room or i don't know just one room i think and he kind of just studies people and he uses it to learn how to communicate because he doesn't communicate real well and so there ends up being a murder and he's kind of like the prime suspect and uh he ends up getting transferred to another hotel and this woman he meet and he meets this woman there and they kind of have this little thing going on and you know guys i like this movie i thought it was very interesting uh well acted an interesting idea because i mean people could easily be recording anything you're doing but i like this one also has john leguizamo and uh anna de armas and helen hunt plays his mother she's not in it a ton but um i definitely like this one guys check that out if you haven't already uh, next up, Mill Creek Entertainment sent over Hudson Hawk for review. This one has Bruce Willis, and he plays some sort of uh, thief or jewel thief or something, and he gets out of jail, and basically before he even gets out of jail, um, he's already being blackmailed into um, performing these other crimes. And I believe this is the one where they're trying to build the, the Da Vinci thing that turns stuff into gold or whatever. And he just keeps getting set up to commit all these crimes that he doesn't want to do. And it was an okay movie, guys. Uh, Mill Creek also sent over Vibes on Blu-ray. And this one was about these psychics. They end up getting tricked into going to Ecuador to try to find this room of gold that's supposedly lost there. And they kind of have a romance on the way. And, you know, it was an interesting movie. I definitely thought it was, it was kind of fun and whatnot uh, with Jeff Goldblum. And lastly, Milk Creek Entertainment sent over No Mercy. This one is Richard Gere and Kim Basinger. And uh, he's an undercover cop and his partner's killed. And it's Kim Basinger's boyfriend who was responsible for killing him. So he kind of has to get her to, to gotta get to this guy. And it's basically them trying to escape from this guy's gang most of the movie. Definitely an interesting one, guys. Check that one out if you haven't already. Uh, this one, I don't remember, it was from 1986. Uh, next up, Dark Sky Phil sent over The Dark Red. And I did post an unboxing of this. If you wanna check that out, just search for The Dark Red on my channel. This is a very interesting movie about this woman who was telling a psychiatrist her story about how she was pregnant and some people stole her baby. Um, but the psychiatrist says, you know, you're paranoid, delusional, and schizophrenic, and you're making it all up. And the majority of this movie is them kind of going back and forth and also kind of having flashbacks to what happened. And you're really not sure for most of the movie, you know, if this really happened, if it's all in her mind. There's this really weird kind of twist. Um, I liked it, guys. Definitely check that one out. Uh, next up, Dark Sky Film sent over... Infection. Now, this was a, a very topical for the Times movie about this variation of rabies that gets out and basically turns people into zombies. And um, this this one was in Spanish, just so you guys know. And and I thought this was a good quality zombie movie. Um, the zombie craze, I think, has has really died down recently. But uh, I feel like this is a really well done movie. And check that one out for sure. Warner Brothers sent over Just Mercy for review, and I did post an unboxing of this one. If you want to check that out, just search for Just Mercy on my channel. Now, this one stars Michael B. Jordan, and he's a lawyer in the South. And this is based on a true story. And you know what? For most of the movie, I did not... Actually, for the whole movie, I didn't realize that was Brie Larson, but uh, also has Jamie Foxx. And so he, he goes down, and he's uh, dealing with death row inmates who he feels weren't well represented in their trials and the people are very against it they don't want anything to do with him they they want him gone they don't want him helping these people to me it's like yeah i don't want people on death row who are, who murdered a bunch of people to get out but if they're innocent i don't want, like 
What kind of person wants an innocent person on death row? Like, it's just so messed up. And this is a super powerful movie, guys. Best movie of the month by far. Um, loved it. Check it out for sure if you haven't already. Michael B. Jordan is great, but when isn't he? Uh, for sure, check this out. Jamie Foxx was really good too, but he's not in it a ton. Universal Pictures sent over The Gentleman. Now, this was a movie that to me at first was pretty confusing. I, I was really unsure what was going on through most of the movie until the end. And maybe I just missed something, but um, it seemed like towards the end I figured it out. But uh, it's basically Matthew McConaughey is this big pot dealer in the UK. And it's illegal there, but it could be legalized soon. And he wants to get out of the business, and so he wants to sell this business to this other guy. And almost the whole movie really is about this whole back and forth um, of, of like people trying to sabotage him and him trying to you know, sell the business and, and get out of it all. And most of it is told through a journalist and his right-hand man, and it kind of jumps around in time a little bit, which I don't like. But um, overall, guys, I thought this was a really good movie. I really enjoyed it. Check it out for sure. Sony Pictures sent over Little Women for review. Now, I had never seen the old movie and never read the book, so I had nothing previous to go off of on this one. But this is uh, the story of uh, some sisters. I don't remember how many there were. <laughs> it's a four or five sisters. But... Um, they, it's just kind of their lives and, and what happens to them. And one's a journalist and one's a, or, or one's a writer. And uh, I can't remember everything, but I was super confused with this one for sure until I realized that they were jumping around in time like crazy. Every scene was a different time period. I mean, they they'd go to the same time periods, but uh, from one scene to the next, it was never the same time period, which to me, I, I don't know, it was I, I didn't care for that aspect. But otherwise, very well acted, uh, good story. I enjoyed it, but I just wish it was in a more linear storytelling. The well, last thing sent to me for review, guys, was uh, Brave Storm from GVN releasing. And, um, and this one had this kind of just really strange story about um, like humans are extinct or nearly extinct because aliens came and killed everyone and they're they're like taking over the planet and turning it into their own atmosphere something we've seen many times and they end up like and then this group of people end up going back in time to stop the alien invasion and then it doesn't really work that well this movie was all right you know it, i can't remember did this one have an english track it does have an english track um, you know, I think the movie was okay. I think the effects were pretty well done for the quality of movie. You know, I wouldn't expect them to be quite so good. But, uh, yeah, this is <laughs> If you kind of want a Pacific Storm kind of movie, check that one out. And I can't remember... I don't think I put this in last month's video, so I decided to just put it in this one because my dad had it when I made last month's video. But I did get Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker on 4K Steelbook. I enjoyed this movie, guys. Maybe you didn't, but I did. I also got Bad Boys for Life on 4K Steelbook. I love this movie. Pretty cool Steelbook. Um, both of these have unboxings if you want to check those out on my channel. Um, I did pick up American Pie Presents The Naked Mile on Blu-ray. I can't remember if I posted the unboxing for this one yet or not. Um, I haven't checked out the Blu-ray yet. Uh, I did pick up Krypton Season 2. Uh, again, I, I can't remember if I posted unboxing this. I haven't checked this one out yet. Um, I don't know when I'll get a chance to do that. Um, I also picked up the Target exclusive, Bad Boys for Life Blu-ray. There's an unboxing of that available. And the last thing I picked up here, guys, from um, the Fear Footage is uh, the Fear Footage 2, the Lost Tapes. I didn't post an unboxing of this because the first one I felt like they were a little more elaborate with the packaging. Um, I mean, this one, you know, it's an evidence bag or whatever, just a black bag. It says, warning, if you've received this package, return immediately, do not open, do not watch. This is evidence that the footage is cursed. Viewing will result in feeling ill, hearing voices, and becoming cursed. So maybe this isn't the evidence bag. The first one had the evidence bag. This is just, I don't know, some random black bag. And the other one had more stuff inside. Um, so I didn't really think it was worth doing an unboxing. I haven't watched this one. I mean, the disc here, it's just plain. And there's like this little poster. I can't remember what's on it. It's like a little 
little map, I guess. Um, but I haven't got to check this one out, guys. Um, I, <laughs> like I said, I, I thoroughly enjoyed the first one. Um, they did use uh, some of my review uh, in kind of marketing from the first one. Uh, they, they posted a video with clip from my video and they, they, they have my a quote from mine. <laughs> and they have a quote for my review on their website. Um, but they didn't send me a copy of this one for review. Of course, they didn't for the first one either. But um, I, I really wanted to check it out. I just haven't got to yet. I might I might go watch it right now. I don't know. But uh, that is it, guys. You know, like I said, it wasn't a huge month for me. Uh, curious what you guys picked up or what you guys thought of any of these. Let me know down in the comment section below. I always appreciate the comments. If you haven't already, subscribe for more videos, check with suggested videos, and for more movie news, check out my website, bobsmoviereview.com. I'll see you guys next time.